Hi, how to make a pie chart with Google. So first off, I go into my Google account, I come over here, and I click on Sheets. It loads up. I want to create a blank sheet. Once I have a blank sheet set, I'm going to type in my information. Now let's just pretend, woo! Oh look, I already typed in my information. So right here is going to be that number of hours I spent uh, in a day and what I did, or a 24-hour period of time. Now check this out. How did I know it's 24? I'm going to put in a function. So I, I go to Insert, and I come down to Function. I click Sum, and it's saying, you want to sum up what? I highlight and drag down here, and then hit the Enter or Return key, and it automatically adds up all these numbers here. 24. Yay! I have 24 hours in a day. Now this pie chart, I'm just going to delete this. So I'm going to show you how to make one of those. Next step I do is I highlight the words or the categories and the data. Then I come into Insert and I'm coming down to Chart. Now I get this kind of chart by default. I don't want that. So I come over here and I click on Pie Chart. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Now I need to pick a font and I want that font to be consistent throughout all my designs. So for this project in particular, I'll be making some video pieces and some other elements titles and so on and I'm going to use that font throughout all my development. Now I'm going to pick a font in Google because Google only has so many fonts. So I'm going to let Google decide which which options I have. Now if I'm on the Mac uh, or a com any computer I could install thousands of fonts and pick that but in this case because I know that this will be my limitation I'm going to pick a font from here. So I come over to pie chart oh, I'm sorry I come over to customize and I can look at style and I can pick a font that I want. Now I just have these to select from. So I could go to wide, um, I could go to narrow, aerial, you know, one of these things. I'm going to go with, oh, judge, who's your girl? Let's see. I will pick, mm, I'm going to stick with wide because that's nice and bold. Now next thing I do is I can maximize, which I don't want to do, 3D. I'm not going to do that either. Now the pie chart, there's some things I can do here. I can have a border. Don't really care about these options. I'm going to make that smaller. The axis, chart title, I don't really care about that either at this point because I just want this data. And then series, it says sleep. Now what it is is I can change the colors here to whatever color I want. And I can click custom and I can put in my hex number if I have a specific color I want to choose from. So if you made a color palette, mm -hmm, you could type in your specific colors for each one of these. and Again, from a design standpoint, having a color palette and then choosing colors uh, makes it way better and higher quality continuity throughout the design of the project. Now, in this case, if I had five colors I picked it for my color palette, I picked it, did I, say, did I say that? Five colors that I picked, I would pick the five dominant colors, but then I might subdivide some of the smaller things. Uh, because I only have five colors to choose from, I might choose complementary colors or lighter shades of things that are related. Uh, so a time like this, maybe one, two, three, four, five, um, and then these two might be related, so I'd have them the same color, but just one lighter than the other. Just an idea. Going onward, the legend right down here, uh, I can change, again, the font here is wide, that's cool, and color, I'm going to keep it, uh, actually watch this, I'm going to have the font be colored white, and I'm going to go uh, back up to the pie chart, and Let's see, I want to do background color. Okay. Chart style, white, oh, background, here we go. If I do black, because I know in this case, I'm going to be embedding this either into a slideshow or into a video format. Either, I, I know both of those have a black background. This is going to look way better in a black background. Now, the gray is not going to be too visible, but the percentages are less important to me right now than uh, the words themselves up here. So this would look really good. Now, when I'm done with this, I'm going to download uh, Save Image, and I can then save this to my desktop, and now I have it. I could upload it to my Flickr account and embed it to my blog post. I also have it to embed into whatever media I'm creating, presentation or video or whatnot. So this is how you make a pie chart and make it look really, really cool.